guys welcome back to my channel this is view cutie pie one and i'm coming at you guys today with a lipstick review um i have nine of the new hard candy lipsticks um they're called fierce let me see they are called fierce effects lipstick and then i have one of the plumping serum lipstick now all these lipsticks are supposed to be new or at least in my area they're new um, hard candy is so I believe exclusively at Walmart. Um, now my Walmart is kind of ghetto bootleg, so uh, they didn't have all the colors there. So I had to go do some searching, but I did find them. So let's see now. This is what the sticks look like. The fierce and the fierce effects ones. That's what the tube looks like. As to what prompted me to purchase them. Um, they do have some very pretty, uh, nice, vivid colors. This particular one is chalk and pink. Um, I did do a swatching of them on myself, tried them on and everything. Um, the display said that these lipsticks contain argan oil. Now, the lipsticks are soft, so you do need to be careful how you use them because they are super fragile, like super, super fragile. Um, they're about five dollars a stick, so I think they are reasonably priced. Um, they do work very well. They do feel very moisturizing. They're not sticky. They're not drying. Um, so it is worth the money. The pigmentation on them is great. Um, they last for a good while. Um, it's not color or anything like that. So you take the whatever steps you take with your lipstick and try to and keeping it to stay on all day, and you should be good to go. Now, um, in the pictures that I took of myself wearing these lipsticks. Um, I just put them on. I didn't put them on perfect. I didn't use a lip liner either because I wanted you guys to see the true color. So with that being said, the first lipstick that we're going to look at is 1046. And that one is chalk and pink. Like I said, they are fragile. So you guys need to be very careful with it. This is what chalk and pink looks like. It swatches like this. So it's kind of like a chalky lavender color with um, more pink in it than purple. Well, more pink in it than blue. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to insert the picture in now. And hopefully you guys will, I mean, it looks crazy. It looks really crazy. It's a pretty color. It really is. Um, maybe somebody else can pull it off, but I could not. And you guys will see. So yeah, as you can see in that picture, that lipstick looks pretty crazy. It does look chalky, just like the, the color description says, chalk and pink. Um, but it was creamy and smooth. It went on nicely. It wasn't splotchy or anything like that. So if you can pull the color off, then more power to you. But as you guys can see, I could not. So the next color we're going to look at is 1047. And of course, all the tubes have a little rhinestone detailing on it. Um, surprisingly, the little color at the top, it is true to the color in the tube. So, you don't have to open it because it, that coloring at the top tells you exactly what's in the tube. And this one looks like that. And it's like a bronzy gold color. It's got a little pink hue to it, but it's very pretty. Swatching it right here. And hopefully you can see that, but it is very pretty. And it looks really nice on me. Um, again, it goes on nice, smooth and creamy. Um, no splashiness or anything like that. And of course, I do have a picture of this one too as well. So yeah, I do think that is a really pretty um, color. If you're looking to try gold but don't want to go like gold gold in your face gold, then I think that color would be perfect. It's like a mix between gold and bronze. Got the pinky tinge to it but I think it is very very pretty and it looks really 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 good under lights under a flash or whatever so the next color is 10 let me see it is 10 48 which I do love this one a lot and this one is Galactica it's kind of similar to the last shade I showed you but it, it's it's not that golden but it is very pretty. Uh, it's kind of hard to see it like that. But I do have a picture of that as well. So let me insert that here. 
so yeah as you can see that looks really good on dark skin as well um again that one went on nice and smooth and creamy no creases no crinkles or anything like that um so the next color we have is 1049 and this one is called newly berry and it is a purple it's like a purple color like a berry purple see hopefully you can see that but this one's pretty as well, and I do have photos of that. This one goes on smoothly, creamy, no splotchiness or anything as well. That one also looks good on, on darker skin tones too. And I do apologize, but like half of these colors have, um, it shows in the picture of my full face with the lipstick. And the other ones just shows the lip. And I do apologize about that, but... Um, half of the lipsticks I had in a place where I could find them and the other ones I kind of misplaced. So I didn't find those until after I had showered and washed my face and put on my pajamas. So I do apologize about that. But yes, Newly Berry does look good on darker skin tones. Like I've said before, if I haven't mentioned it. Um, that one went on creamy as well. Nice and smooth, no splotchiness. So I do like that one a lot also. This next one is 1050. And it is called Provocative. And this is what Provocative looks like. And I know the lighting in this bathroom sucks, but this is the different camera. So that's why everything is showing up weirdly. Still haven't quite gotten used to it yet. But yeah, this one is Provocative. Uh, this one goes on like so. Let's see. That's a swatch of this one. It's kind of like an iridescent -y fuchsia pink color. This one looks really good on dark skin tones as well. Um, didn't go on splotchy. Nice and smooth and creamy. Um, and here goes the picture of this one. So as you can see in that photo, that one looks pretty good also. Or at least in my opinion, looks pretty good. So this next lipstick is called Prowler. This one is good for that for the new trend that's out now, where um the where the darker colors. This is like a really 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 deep 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 berry. So and this one is gorgeous, especially on darker skin tones. And I do have a photo of that one also, but here's a swatching of that. So yeah, very beautiful color. Really nice and darker skin. Um, that one went on smooth and creamy also. No splotchiness. Um, no, no tugging or anything like that. Let's see. The next color is called Show Off. And this is 1052. Yeah, 1052. And it is like a red. Really nice red. It's good for darker skin tones. It's not too bright. It's not too in your face. I actually like this red a lot. I think it's going to be my new favorite red. But anyways, that one was smooth and creamy. No creasing, no cracking, anything like that. Um, so anyways, the next color is 1053. And this one is called Thunder. And this is when the colors start to get really bold and fierce, as the packaging says. So, yes, this one's like a dark gravy purple color. It's really, really dark. Um, it's different. I might, I don't know, maybe I can pull it off, I don't know. You guys take a look at the photo and see. So yeah, that one's Thunder. Not sure well, where I'll ever wear that one too, but I don't know. It's not bad. It's not as bad as chalk and pink, but whatever. And let's see, down to our last two. This one's 1054, and it's called Black Diamond. And this one's one of the prettiest black lipsticks I have seen in a while. It's black, it's highly pigmented. Um, it's... it's not sheer it's, it's like full coverage and everything um it's got like sparklies in it 
Hopefully you guys can see that on it. But it's got sparkly, so it's not just a plain dull black lipstick. It's got high, high shine. Uh, it's very, very moisturizing. It doesn't feel sticky or anything. And here goes a photo. So, yeah, that's the Diamond Black. I, I think it's very, very pretty. Um, I don't know, depending on the, the makeup or whatever, I probably could pull that one off. I don't know. Um, I'll, I just have a photo of the lip area because, like I said, I had already washed my face and got ready for bed. So, anywho, last but not least, this one is from a different line. They're Plumping Serum Lipstick, and it's supposed to be new as well. Here's the packaging on that. It's just silver and sleek with little hearts drawn on it. It's not as cute as the other packaging. But the color on this is called Caliente, and it is 1028. And this is the coloring on that. And like I said, you guys have to be very careful with this lipstick because it's super soft and fragile. See how that looks? And I've barely even used it. But yeah, this is Caliente. Swatching of that. And here's a photo. So this one is a very vi vibrant, bright, creamy pink. I like this one a whole, whole bunch. But if you're not really into bright colors and lips that stand out, then you might want to stay away from it. Now, um, that's the color I have on right now. But I paired it with this um, Meet Matte Hughes lipstick from The Balm. This one's like a matte color, so I put that on top. So it took away a lot of the um, creamy shine and kind of mat mattened it out and kind of dulled out the color. But I think it's a pretty combination. But anyways, so I've showed you guys 10 different lipstick colors. Um, they're all a very good price. At a very good price point, they're $5 a stick, so it's very, very affordable. You just have to be really careful with it because they're kind of soft and they are very, very, very fragile. But other than that, I, I believe they are some great lipsticks. They are highly, highly pigmented, and I do think that they are worth the price and worth you guys getting out and trying. And until the next video, I guess I will talk to you guys later. Bye.